643. Let's get a check of the forecast right, right now. Jordan, this is in this morning for Ashley Carter and Jordan. What can you tell us this morning when it comes to the weather? Well, I can tell you we have a lot of moisture in the atmosphere. That's bringing a lot of cloud cover, a lot of fog, and it's all being brought in by some southerly winds. Now, it's not just the moisture it's bringing in. It's bringing in a lot of that warmth as well. We're talking very warm temperatures. These are what our highs should be for this time of year in the beginning of February. Not necessarily our lows. That means our highs are going to get even higher. 59 right now as you're waking up in Temple and Austin. 57 in Waco 60 degrees is what it is right now in Temple. Now I am watching this next cold front. It's already made it halfway through New Mexico and is slowly creeping its way into the Texas Panhandle. That's really going to be affecting us more so tomorrow morning, not necessarily this morning. As a matter of fact, we're relatively clear on cloud cover for now. Most of that's just going to be in the lower parts of the atmosphere, leaving us with a bit of that fog that's going to slowly start to build up throughout much of today, leaving us on the warm side nonetheless. So a lot of these temperatures, lows and highs not changing all that much. As a matter of fact, we're going to be maxing out today at about 70 degrees, but really the winds are the big story. We're talking sustained winds 15 to 25 miles per hour, a gust getting up to about 30 to 35. Definitely a day to hold on to your hat, folks. We're going to need it. And of course, tonight it's still going to stay very warm. 58 degrees is what I have us bottoming out at, and that's going to be for the morning hours. Mostly cloudy, breezy and muggy. We're not going to have a lot of that fog in the forecast, but overall it's going to stay very warm, very cloudy, very windy. Not necessarily the most pleasant night ahead. Really throughout the day today, those strong winds are going to maintain a lot of that cloud cover across the region. Then as we go into tomorrow morning, that's when we can start to see more of these scattered showers. They be, start coming in right around 7 a.m., become more widespread right around 9 a.m., and it's just going to be rain at that point. We're not talking about anything crazy. Thunderstorms, that's going to start forming right along this line, talking about 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock tomorrow afternoon in the late evening, right along the I-35 corridor, possibly even leading to some slight severe chances as well. Wednesday morning, we're looking at more in terms of some scattered thunderstorms and possibly even severe as as well, but relative severe risk maintains very low factor. As a matter of fact, I only have a level one marginal risk for tomorrow, and that's just going to be for the I-35, I-45, mostly staying into the southeastern corridor. We're talking about the Brazos Valley as well. The main threat here is just going to be some very strong winds right now. Of course, we're going to keep you updated just in case that changes. But how much rain are we going to be getting from this? Now, I don't have a whole lot. I'm going as far as maybe a tenth of an inch out to places like Brown what maybe half an inch along the I-35 and even I-45 corridor. Corsicana, well, we're looking at some very high numbers there, but again, this is just a model. Don't take it for granted, of course. Seven day forecast. I have those rain chances staying at about 60% for Central Texas and the Brazos Valley. Temperatures will be staying warm throughout those couple of days, even going into Thursday, Friday. Cloud cover clears out. We're left with plenty of sunshine, but overall I see temperatures staying above the freezing point, and I think we can all appreciate that.